Hey, if you're involved in systems engineering and you have to engage with project management or maybe you're a lead of some sort, electrical lead, mechanical lead, a systems lead, then it's going to help you to be familiar a little bit with project management and some of the, the, the things that they think of and the things that they want to do. Now, you can see a list of six items here. The first three, scope, schedule, and cost, you might recognize from the Project Man Management Institute. PMI, you might have a Project Management Professional Certification, which I recommend. But for a scope, we'll go through these. A scope involves how much the, the project will attempt to achieve. What is the technical work? And you'll see how all these tie into project management and how they all tie into each other. But, when, but we've got to establish a scope. What are we trying to do? Then the next two questions are how much time do we have to do it and how much money can we spend? What's, what's our financial allotment? in order to complete the work. So it's, again, cost and schedule can be pretty tied together if, if your labor is fixed, but it's how much can we spend and how long do we have to complete the work as you go into cost, schedule, and scope. Now, there are some other aspects that are gonna help you achieve these, you know, going on scope, on time, and then at cost or below cost, and that involves keeping the project organized. And those three items are change control, configuration management, and then record keeping. And they're really three separate items. Now, change control will allow you to track where is the design. Okay, so scope involves a design. Change control is, all right, we, we know where to find the latest design. So if, for instance, if we have to build a power supply off of a satellite system, we can go to the latest version make an estimate of how much power it draws, and then design our supply accordingly. Now, configuration management underlays the system that lets you do change control in the first place. So you have one drawing that's the master drawing, the latest version. All the other drawings are draft. Okay, if you don't have that, if your master copy is on someone's computer and or someone's portable drive, and maybe they take it home, maybe they don't, if that's your situation, then I would recommend really getting a configuration management system going. Uh, think of it as a, a drawing drawer. Okay, you have a, a drawer where you pick the right drawing and you, you pull the drawing you need to, to do your design. Now, the sixth one uh, is a little more common for large organizations, but really any organization that's publicly held needs to, to do this, and it's record keeping. Now, record keeping is where you formally archive artifacts of spending the money to take time to build a product. Okay, so it could be personnel reports, uh, you could be have you could do record keeping on the results of technical reviews, and you could do a risk matrix. You know, you have a matrix of what are your project risks and, and what are the consequences if they happen. So all of that could be considered for record keeping. Now, here's the thing, not everything is a record. So check with your organization, particularly your line management, about what is a record and what is not, and moreover, how long do we have to retain it? All right? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to retain some records more than they're a lot of time. So I try to encourage people, as far as the record keeping, keep as little as possible. Have the design configuration management rock solid, and then you change the control, there's your product, but as far as other records of the business, uh, there, there are retention schedules that you can get from your leadership. However, if you can get these six, you're really going to be ahead because we, we have the technical knowledge as systems engineers. Sometimes, at least for me, you know, I, I didn't quite have the, the feel for how you know, configuration management has a cost and takes time to do it. And then that needs to be rolled up into the scope. So again, all of them interrelate. That was a brief intro. Check out the other sessions involved with these topics and comment below if you have an opinion, you want to see more, you have some experience. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.